I feel like this work smart, not hard is an over, oversimplification, but it was kind of the quickest meme that I could find that at least rel like generally encapsulated this concept. The hairs running actually captures, I think the junior engineer trap pretty well. So a lot of junior engineers, they join the company and they go, all right, I'm writing code and I'm like not very good at writing code and I can't write it super fast. So getting promoted just means that I write like more complex code and I just write it faster, which is true to some extent. Um, generally going from like the junior to like the mid-level uh, is mostly doing that, but you'll realize that you'll, you'll hit physical walls, right? Your, your hands can only type so fast. You only have so many hours in a day, yada, 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 as mentioned before. So going from mid-level to senior, you can't keep doing that mentality. You can't just hustle more in order to get promoted. And this is actually dangerous because if you go too far down this, like, I'm just going to hustle harder to get promoted, that's actually a sign that you're actually not ready to get promoted. Because as mentioned throughout this entire section of the session, promotion is about behavior, not output. So if you're only able to like put together the appearance of like a senior engineer by just working super, super hard, that's, it doesn't really mean you're a senior engineer. You're just kind of faking it because you're just working harder than like everyone, like you're working physically more hours than like everyone else. And that's actually kind of uh, like, let's say you got promoted because you, you essentially did this, you know, ultra hustle way of getting promoted. That just doesn't really work out well for, for anyone because you're eventually going to burn out. So that sucks for you. And then if you got promoted to this level, you, you know, you can't really sustain and you burn out, the company is going to have to essentially fire you at some point because you, you're not going to be able to sustain the next level performance for much longer. Essentially like the, um, you know, the boost you have by working extra hard is going to go away. Um, and it's just going to be really messy for everyone. So, you know, especially once you're going to senior levels in tech, it doesn't really matter. I think just any part of tech, it doesn't have to only be an engineer. Start thinking about, you know, how can I alter my behavior uh, to add more value and like a different type of value um, versus how can I just do more of what I'm already doing.